Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Here today we're going to look at probably one of the weirdest bits of content I've ever produced. At the moment there is a complete lack of tournaments, both local and regional and all of the others, because of the lockdown. So I decided that rather than fighting people with cards, we're going to get the characters from Yu-Gi-Oh! to fight each other. The concept's pretty simple. I've made a tournament bracket here, which uh, will generate now. Uh, well, in a moment. Uh, naming most of the characters from the original anime that we really give a shit about, quite honestly. Uh, so we've gone ahead with 16 of these. I took out Esper Roba and I took out Bones because uh, they're both fucking useless. But also, I went off this list of the uh, the whole Duel Links thing just to get an idea of some of the character names, maybe in case I've forgotten any uh, kind of under-the-radar ones. So let's see who would win in a fight here. It should be obvious who should win, but... Who knows, maybe we'll be surprised. The way that we're going to figure this out is we're going on to Google Fight. We're going to punch the names in here. And we're going to do a tournament until we have a winner. So let's go ahead and generate our tournament here. And we'll see how we get started off. So this is the biggest Millennium Rod Award, if you know what I mean. So if it sounds a little bit like a jet engine's taken off, that's because my laptop is fucking loud. Unfortunately, one of the downsides of being nice and powerful is that it makes an absolute ton of noise, but there you go. Anyway, we're going to get stuck into our biggest Millennium Rod award. We're going to start off here with Re Rex Raptor and Joey Wheeler. Okay, so let's see who wins the fight here. Uh, so Rex Raptor, Joey Wheeler. Now, I would assume that we'll get Joey out on top here. I don't know if it goes by this by... Uh, the individual words or the words combined so we'll find out uh, based on this later on so let's have them fight here okay so Joey Wheeler absolutely smashes Rex Raptor unsurprising it's exactly what happened in the anime and it's exactly what we're seeing here in the Google fight okay so the first result is in and of course Joey Wheeler progresses uh, so we'll go ahead and put him through next up on our list is Yugi vs Tristan Yugi Muto Tristan Taylor Let's go ahead and see who wins this one. <laughs> okay, Tristan Taylor, much to his uh, Season Zero roots, beats the shit out of Yugi. Okay, that was what I did not expect. Tristan Taylor is our winner. Fuck you, Yugi, little bitch. So next up we have Kaiba against Ishizu. <laughs> Not even close. Ishizu got absolutely fucked up. Next you have Yami Yugi against Yami Bakura. I mean, this is kind of weird because Yugi kind of gets two goes, but they're technically two different people. Yami Yugi. Not really all that surprising. So we've got two of the absolute weakest characters in the series coming up against each other now. Mokuba, a massive, massive bitch, and Teo Gardner. Also a massive, massive bitch. So let's see who's the biggest bitch out of these two. Okay, so let's see who wins the fight. And Teo Gardner absolutely beats the fucking living daylights out of Mokuba. He should have stuck to being a girl like they had in that one episode. So next up we have Marek Ishtar against Weevil Underwood. I wasn't sure whether to put this in as Yami Marek or Marek Ishtar. So we go with Marek Ishtar since technically that is his full name. So let's go ahead with that one. I fucking hate Weevil. He's just a little bitch. Hopefully Marek pulverizes him. I mean, this is all about the bigger rod. And we all know that Marek's probably going to win this one. It is worth noting that this is completely scientific. There's zero way to make any doubt about the accuracy of this tournament. So this is, again, all about the science. Apparently they both got zero. What the fuck? Did something go wrong with this? Like, what the fuck is this all about? Let me try again. Ah. Uh, how do you... How do we... What the fuck? There has to be a tiebreaker. Ah, the classic coin. Heads and tails. Heads will be Marek. Heads. Marek wins. Science. Although we already know who's going up next round. I think maybe in the interest of fairness for the next round, we'll use him as Yami Marek because, you know, there's no other way to really do this. We know he's got zero. We know he instantly loses in the next round. Let's try and play fair. 
So now we've got Mako Tsunami against My Valentine. I wonder who the wetter of these two is. Freaky fish guy against My Valentine. Let's see who the bigger slush puppy is. <laughs> That's a surprise. So the freaky fish guy loses absolutely unsurprising there. We go with that. So my Valentine goes through. Now the good thing with this is I absolutely can't remember what kind of scores people got. So this is actually going to go right down to the wire, guys. This is uh, interesting stuff. Maximilian Pegasus against Bandit Keith. Did I spell Maximilian right? Maximilian, yeah. Bandit Keith. Little fucking gimp. <laughs> That was not the result I expected. Well, I guess Bandit Keith's going to have to fight my Valentine the next round. I mean, it makes sense, like, in a real actual fight. We know how this would go. Okay, so we're down to our round of eight. We've got Joey Wheeler against Tristan Taylor. Seto Kaiba against Yami Yugi. Ooh, big matchup. Taya Gardner against Marek Ishtar, or Yami Marek, as we'll be doing for the next one. My Valentine against Bandit Keith. Okay, so we start off with Joey Wheeler against Tristan Taylor. This is actually an interesting one because um, these two actually, if you go back to Season 0, they are uh, both hardheads actually and fight loads. So this will be an interesting fight to who comes out on top on this one. Uh, my money will probably be on Joey because, again, I don't remember the scores, so I'm not going off that basis here. Let's go ahead and see what happens. And it's Joey Wheeler quite significantly by the whole... One point <laughs> wins the fight against Tristan Taylor. Maybe gives him a swift kick in the nuts to go through to the next round. So next up, we got Seto Kaiba against Yami Yugi. We know how this one normally goes, but let's see how it goes according to the Google fight. It could trip us up. It has done so far. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Seto Kaiba against Yami Yugi. Let's go. Seto Kaiba wins. Kaiba wins. Kaiba wins. Okay, sure. That's... uh. Something different. Kaiba's going through. He's got the bigger Millennium Rod. Not like his little bitch brother, though. So next we've got the mighty Taya Gardner taking on Yami Marek. Help if I could spell her fucking name. Let's go. Taya whoops him. Absolutely whoops Yami Marek. I don't know how this is happening, but there you go. The Tea Gardener. It's probably what it is. Take that, Boston. And then it's my Valentine versus Bandit Keith. Who's the bigger crook? And my Valentine absolutely slaughters Bandit Keith. It's basically not even a fight. I don't know how these work these out. Which one gets the best visibility on Google? Okay, sure. So my Valentine goes through. I think she's getting quite high scores, to be fair. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if she can go all the way. Okay, so we're down to our quarterfinals now. Joey Wheeler against Seto Kaiba and Taya Gardner versus My Valentine. The boys against the girls, respectively. We're going to have a boy and a girl in the final either way. Nice and balanced, of course, because we don't judge in 2020. So it's Joey Wheeler against Seto Kaiba. Let's see how this one rolls. And Seto Kaiba absolutely smacks the shit out of him. Blue eyes beats red eyes. Unsurprising, because red eyes is fucking garbage. So Seto Kaiba wins. Not even close. Gives him an absolute fucking pasting. Rich boy snob defeats peasant. Just like in real life. And now it's the frigid one against the loose one. Let's see how this one goes out. It's the tea gardener against my valentine. Let's go. And my valentine absolutely smacks the shit out of Taya. Unsurprising really of course because Taya Gardner is fucking terrible. How she made it this far into the tournament I'll never know but there we go. So my Valentine goes through and then we are down to our final. We also should have a third place coming up. Uh, I've not used this before so let's go ahead and see that. Uh, let's just see the bronze match first. Joey Wheeler against Taya Gardner and see how they get on. Joey Wheeler against Taya and Joey Wheeler blitzes her so joey wheeler goes through and finishes third place in this tournament he's got the third biggest rod and now here it is ladies and gentlemen the moment you've all been waiting for the big fucking question on everyone's mind who has the biggest millennium rod out of the Yu-Gi-Oh! dual monster series based on scientific fact alone we're going to get the result of this tournament it's seto kaiba against my valentine Excuse me? I won't have it.
So it turns out my Valentine is absolutely packing heat. She has the biggest Millennium Rod in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters series. We may do some more of these if you thought it was absolutely fucking terrible, as I expect that you will. You should definitely hit subscribe before we go any further. Let's go ahead and enter our little thing in here. Of course, I've got to throw those puns in there because, you know, puns? Whatever. I'm tired, man. I'm tired. My Valentine is the member of the biggest Millennium Rod Club. Uh, so she goes through, she wins the whole entire thing, defeating absolutely everyone along the way, nice and easy, smashing every motherfucker left, right and centre. So Kaiba bitches out at the last moment, he's not quite big enough to handle my fucking member. So that is it for today's absolutely nonsensical video for you guys. Hopefully it's been a big waste of your time as I suspect it will have been. And uh, if you have enjoyed it enough, definitely hit subscribe and I won't see you in the next one because I'll probably never do another one of these stupid fucking videos again. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.